On this episode of Kitchen Dads, it's Mother's Day Breakfast Part 2, Eggs and Bagels. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Cliff and welcome to Kitchen Dads, where we're all about fun and food and family. We make a lot of food that's good for your soul and food that's good for your body and a whole bunch that's in between. We're back with part two of Mother's Day Breakfast. We're going to make eggs in bagels. Not and bagels, but in the bagels. It's really cool. And just so you know, Michael didn't grow three feet since the last video. He just standing on a ladder. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple bagels. These bagels are, have been pre-sliced already. Uh, if they're not pre-sliced, you might want to cut them uh, a little bit like at a quarter. And all that Nick and Michael are going to do is they're going to start off. And guys, what I want you to do is I want you to pinch out some of the middle and go all the way around so it creates like a little trough, okay? Why don't you go ahead and do that. Can I help you with on one end of it? Can I help? Yeah. Okay. Because I can't see the hole there. Yeah, the hole, you know, I don't see a hole there either. Okay, we can. Yeah. Yeah. Try not to pinch too far and break through the bottom, but if you do, it's okay. We're going to be putting these on aluminum foil, and so don't, don't worry about it. All right. You can use these as bread patch. Yeah. You guys, you know what these are also good for? You can look like a big alien bug. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, all right, come on. All right. So now I'm going to have Michael crack some eggs. Do you remember how I taught you to crack them? Okay. Yep, you can put them on there. Gently, yep, right, you can pull them apart. We don't want them to explode, right? Throw those in there. Sometimes you can put them on the board a little bit and they crack better. Pull them apart, that's right. We want um, probably about, probably two eggs per um, bagel, per side of bagel. So we're gonna use about six eggs for, for, for four bagels. Give or take. Depends how much, it depends how much eggs that you like, how much you want to put in there. The boys have cracked all the eggs in. Now we're going to mix these up. So Nick's going to go in and we're going to just scramble the eggs. Remember, you, you break the yolks a little bit. You can puncture the yolks with the fork. So I want to beat these up just a little bit more. We want to get them mixed up really, really, really good. Whatever mom likes in her eggs, that's what you put in. We have some spinach here. We have some peppers that are red and yellow that we've cut up. Go ahead, um, Nick, you put those in. Michael, you put the spinach in. We're gonna put the cheese on top. All right, thank you, Nick. I'll take that. Hold on, Michael. I'll put that over here. We're gonna season this with a little salt and with a little pepper. All right, and I'm gonna mix this up. I like to have some type of a green component in here. So if mom doesn't like spinach, maybe you can put some asparagus in. If she doesn't like asparagus or spinach, she probably is not a, a person who likes anything green in her eggs. So now we're gonna take four sheets of aluminum paper. Each one of these is gonna have their own sheet because we're gonna cook these in it. So I want you to put it in the center. Go ahead, Nick, put that one in the center. Michael, Nick, put that in the center. Nick, all right. Now I am going to spoon this mixture. All right, I'm gonna fill that up. Oh, you know what we forgot to do, guys? We forgot to put a little oil on the bottom of this so it doesn't stick so much and it crisps up. So let's real quick, let's do that. All right. So we're gonna put a little spray of oil. This is a cool little pumper, no aerosol. I think that one's a little past its prime, but we'll put it on the, all right. All right, I'm gonna do this one. i do this one. We're just gonna kind of crunch this together and we're gonna make a little circle. Okay, all right. get to one. Yep. 
if you have leftover egg mixture, you can kind of mound it up. Put some more in there. Sprinkle a little cheese. Yep, and sprinkle some cheese on there. Go ahead, guys. Guys, is this fun cooking breakfast for mom? Yes. Think she's gonna like this? Yes. Yes. So we take these and we put them in the oven, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, and we'll bring those back out. Let's go do that. We've pulled our bagels out of the oven. We've let them sit for about five minutes because they're real, really hot. And now we're gonna put this all together so we can make a nice, nice dish for mom. Nick? We've cooked some bacon, and I want you to write a little special message for mom. Go ahead. And Michael, while he does that, you're going to take one of these. You can see how much the eggs have dropped down since cooking. So, okay, Michael's going to display. You can see how much the eggs have dropped down from cooking. So, again, when you're putting the eggs into the bagel, uh, mounding it is not a problem. You know, just, just put a good quantity in. Pull this off. All right, hold it. In the middle. And so, what is the spell? Mom! Mom, we've got a special breakfast for mom with bacon and eggs and bagels and a fruit, fruit with yogurt. It's really, really yummy. She's gonna love it, not only because it tastes good, but because we used a special ingredient. Michael, what is that special ingredient that we used? Love. Love, that's right, we put love into it. This is a great way to start off the day to make it special for your mom. Is mom gonna like this? Yes. Is she gonna like it? Yes.